The pride of Hawaii, Max Bless Holloway! Had side control there, really didn't try to do much with it. Oh, that good spinning was back kick to the body by Holloway. Yep, right to the midsection. Very, job. very confident on his feet. He's doing a great job of moving, throwing those shots. Another, another hard shot to the body. Yeah. Pettis is in trouble. Holloway looking to He's finish it. It's all over. Wow. Max Holloway finishes Anthony Pettis. Outstanding. Wow. Wow. Boom, boom. Just swarmed on him. Just saw the opening and just dug in, bit down on his mouthpiece and put Anthony Pettis away and secured himself the UFC interim featherweight title. 24 years old, a Ronin, a masterless samurai, claims to have never been hurt in competition. And he is rather impressive in his many victories from the British Virgin Islands. And that is why his his stock is so high. Militant. Nice attempt. Nice. Wow. Beautiful leg trip. And the follow up. Uh oh. Gave him a chance to come up and he took full advantage of it. Looking for a guillotine now. Nice sequence. Nice sequence. Militich now trying to position himself here in the side mount. You can see Newton keeping his left arm in the way of a knee coming into his ribs. Fending off, very comfortable. It took Carlos Newton four and a half minutes in round one to get this fight down to the mat. It took him only about 30 seconds or so here in round number two. But what can he do from here is now the question. There's a shot that oh. connected from Militic. And they're back to the Oh, nice knee. That was a knee from Newton. And now Newton with a combination. And he's got the mojo. Whoa. Militic still firing away. Precision punches they just missed. But the combination. Good shot back on the forearm. Steps the body to the side, trying to create some space. Trying to get back. Militant oh, he's got the head. Look, he's got the head tight. Look, he's got the tight. Look, he's got the tight. It's over. Carlos Newton has choked out Pat Militant. And we have a new world welterweight champion. Carlos Newton is the new champion. He caught the champ. He caught the champ. He found one submission lock and he made it work. Newton is somebody that takes great risks. They're great contrast, experience and new, but it was Newton and youth that prevailed. Ah, thanks, man. <laughs> it's crazy stuff. <laughs> happy about the victory. Huh? <laughs> so you happy about this victory? Oh, I'm not here, man. I'm going somewhere else. I'm in heaven. <laughs> I'm not here. Presenting the former WEC featherweight champion and the reigning, defending UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. His mom, Marie, is grandmother. Oh, yes! Aldo Jr. Big shots. Pouncing on under 90 seconds on the clock here in the third. And he gives the thumbs up. Oh, double jab. Oh, it's hard. Time remains here in the fourth round. A 
11 fight win streak for Jose Aldo has not lost since 2005. Hominick has a huge hematoma on his forehead, Mike. It is nasty. In front of Aldo with a big uppercut. Aldo hurt him with that uppercut, Mike. Delayed reaction. Look at this. Hominick takes him Trying down. Choke him out. Nope. Blood dripping. Battle continues. Final 10 seconds of this fight. Hominick and Aldo have gone the distance. Wow. What a fight. What a fight. And still, the UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. Welcome the baby face of Saturn, Josh Barnett. You look for it. Over and right. Is this a big one? No, he tried to pass the guard instead. Look at that guard. Oh, oh, look out. Standing. Watch out, Randy. Spun away quickly. Oh. He's got a back, though. Barnett with a kick. Look out, Barnett starting to be off. Look at The crowd feels it. Couture spin. Oh, my God. This is impressive, ladies and gentlemen. I told you, first two rounds, very intense. Good job by Josh Barnett. He's Good trying. job. He's trying. Oh, on Couture's his back. in trouble. Trying to rain him down right now, Randy Couture. We've never seen Gauthier in trouble on his back before. No, especially pinned against the fence. He's been there before, though, with Randleman, and he survived. He has been there. He has been there. And I tell you what, don't give up on the champion yet. What I told you, the first two rounds, Josh Barnett needs to come through. He needs to apply more pressure right now. If he wants to make a difference, he can come out in the third round with intense blows even worse than this. He needs to finish hard. Barnett's pace is slow here. He needs to pick it up. He needs to finish it hard. Oh. Good elbow. Couture, though, is still defending well. Those lefts are good, though. McCarthy's watching closely. Barnett trying to steal the belt from around the waist to Randy Couture. He's OK, though. Tough and intense. Oh, yeah, he is OK still. He's holding on. Yeah. Barnett. Those are hurting. Those are putting him down. I think yeah. Randy is actually finished here. But let's see if Josh can finish it. He needs to finish it. 40 seconds. Barnett feels it. He's gassing, though. He's throwing a lot of punches. We'll see who's going to finish here. We've got 30 seconds left. He's punching it. seconds of running. No. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. And it's over. The new champion. I told you guys. The baby-faced assassin. I told Josh you. Barnett. First two rounds. First two rounds. This is intense. I told you. Number one fight in the world, baby. That's how it's done. The belt is now around the waist of the new champion, the baby face. Look Sassy, at the classic right the here. 24-year-old. Randy Couture is a classy man putting on the belt of Josh Barnett. John Jones, as we've mentioned many times, 23 years old, six years younger. Then Shogun Hua, there's that reach, Joe. 84 and a half inches. Eight and a half inch reach advantage. <laughs> Flying knee early. Red trunks for Jones, head kick. White right. trunks for Shogun. Right away, Jones opens up wild. Creative, unorthodox. Misses but it also can back. leave you exposed. Shogun likes to do is dive under Mike and get an underhook on the opposite leg. He's got half guard on the right leg of John Jones. That one hurt him. That one opened him. Brutal elbow. Big oh. elbows. Oh, Trying Shogun's to finish this fight. Shogun's badly hurt, Mike. John Jones looking to finish Shogun. Vicious knee to the body and an uppercut. Jones to the body. And it is all over! John Jones is the youngest champion in UFC history! Wow. He is the president.
talent and he is the future. And he might be the greatest talent that we've ever seen in the UFC. John Jones, the new UFC light heavyweight champion. It feels so good. It's a testament that dreams can come true, guys. They really can. Believe in yourself, believe in your heart. And once you get there, don't slow down. It comes true, everybody.